Hi guys, if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications. Hello guys, today we will be learning about a span of vectors. So span is the set of all the linear combinations of vectors. So let v1, v2, v3 up to vn belong to vector space v. Then linear combination of these vectors will be v c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus c3 v3 plus up to cn vn where c1 c2 c3 and so on are some scalars so we can put any value for c1 c2 c3 up to cn to get infinite linear combination so the span of these vectors v1 v2 up to vn is the set of all the linear combinations of these vectors and it is written as span of v1 v2 up to vn is equal set of c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus up to cn vn that belong to vector space V such that C1, C2 up to Cn belong to real number. So this curly bra bracket we read it as a set of and this vertical line we read it as such that. So set of this linear combination that belong to vector v such that c1 v1 up to cn belong to real number r and this is in the form of set builder notation for example the span of vectors 1 2 3 and vector 3 1 1 is the set of all the vectors of the form c1 v1 plus c2 v2 that is c1 times 1 2 3 plus c2 times 3 1 1 where c1 and c2 are some scalars so we can put any values for c1 and c2 to get infinite number of linear combinations now let's discuss about the span of vectors 0 1 0 and 1 0 1 so the linear combination of these two vectors will be c1 times 0 1 0 plus c2 times 1 0 1 that will give us 0 c1 0 plus c2 0 c2 that is c2 c1 c2 where c1 and c2 are some scalar so as we can see here the first and the third entries are same therefore span of vectors 0 1 0 and 1 0 1 is the set of all the vectors in R3 whose first and third entries are same like 1 2 1 3 2 3 1 3 1 7 10 7 etc so in all these vectors first and third entries are same so there could be infinite such vectors now let's discuss about the span of vectors 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 so here linear combination of these two vectors will be c1 times 1 0 0 plus c2 times 0 0 1 that is c1 0 0 plus 0 0 c2 and we will get vector c1 0 c2 
so as we can see here second entry is 0 so span is the set of all vectors whose second entry is 0 and we know that in xz plane y is always 0 y is the second entry so y is always 0 so here we can say that span of this set is a xz plane in R3. Now the span of vector 1, 2. So here linear combination will be any scalar multiple of vector 1, 2. That is C times 1, 2 and we will get C and 2 times of C where C belongs to any real number. So as we can see here the second entry is twice the first entry or we can say that Y is 2 times X and this is the equation of a line therefore span is a line here. So for a single vector 1, 2 span is a line. So span of one vector and if that vector is u then it is always a line passing through the origin because origin will also lie on that line because if we multiply if we take c or a scalar as 0 it will be a 0 vector so it's it will pass through the origin now span of two vectors in r2 so let two vectors be u and v then if vector u and vector v are scalar multiple of each other that is if they are dependent on each other then span will be a line because they both will represent the same line so if they are dependent then span will be a line now if vectors u and v are not scalar multiples of each other that is if they are independent then span will be the entire plane r2 so if vectors are independent then span will be entire plane r2 now a span of two vectors u v in r3 so if vectors u and v are scalar multiple of each other that is if they are dependent on each other then span will be a line again and that line will be passing through origin again so if vectors are dependent then span will be a line that is passing through the origin now if vectors u and v are not scalar multiples or if they are independent then span will be a plane that is passing through the origin because origin will also lie on this plane so if they are independent then span will be a plane passing through the origin so similarly we can say that span of two vectors in Rn is a plane and that plane will pass through the origin in n dimensional space Now let's talk about this 
span of three vectors u v w in r3 so if vectors are independent that is if they are not scalar multiple of each other then span will be a 3d shape or a 3d figure so if vectors are independent span will be a 3d space and if any two vectors are linearly dependent that is a scalar multiple of each other then span will be a plane that is passing through the origin so if any among these three vectors if any two are dependent linearly dependent then we will get plane as a span of these three vectors now if all three vectors are dependent on each other that is if they are linearly dependent or all are scalar multiple of each other then span will be a line passing through the origin so if all three vectors are dependent then span will be a line and that line will be passing through the origin now for the span of three or more vectors in r2 so for that we will check if any two vectors are independent that is if any two vectors are not scalar multiple of each other then we take those two vectors and ignore all the other vectors or we can say that they are all redundant the other vectors are redundant so we just keep two independent vectors to find the span for example vector v1 is equals to 1 2 vector v2 is equals to 3 4 and vector v3 is equals to 3 6 b3 vectors and we can clearly see that v1 is not a scalar multiple of v2 whereas v3 is a scalar multiple of v1 v3 is three times of v1 so it is a scalar multiple of v1 so vectors v1 v2 v3 that is 1 2 3 4 and 3 6 so these two are independent vectors and v3 is dependent on v1 so we can ignore it so the remaining two vectors are 1 2 and 3 4 and we know that span of two independent vectors is a plane now let's take three vectors again v1 v2 v3 where v1 is 1 2 v2 is 2 4 and v3 is 4 8 now we can clearly see that all these vectors are scalar multiple of each other that is they are dependent on each other because v2 is 2 times of v1 and v3 is 4 times of v1 so out of these three we can keep this one and ignore these two so remaining vector is 1 2 so we have only one vector here and we know that a span of one vector is a line 
so we can remove linearly dependent vectors without affecting the span our next topic is matrix equations thanks for watching